Yes, Miss Mosley? Can't you avoid those awful bumps? I'm sorry, man. The old road is making a good intention. Are you ladies all right? It's a seal. Did she hit her head? That is some bump. It could be a concussion. Oh, no. All right. What happened to the driver? I have no idea. Uh, but I'll look for him. Meanwhile, try to revive her. And I will get her to a doctor. I promise. Just hold on. Come on, George. Let me in. Plenty of ready. I was sheriff of this here county. How about the time I watched this dump when you was out of town? George, let me this time. You hear? Gone. Son of Adam, did I miss you? You bring turn to pixie dust, Buford? You said one bottle. Oh, 
no. Good Lord Almighty. No sign of Master Buford? No. Since those boys saw the saloon last night. Goodness, that's awful. I reckon he'll stagger in sometime before lunch. Pardon me for saying so, sir. But you don't look none too sure. It's not Buford I'm concerned about. Cecile. She should have arrived by now. Oh. Something on your mind, Lucinda? No, nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Well, I hope Master Buford come home in one piece. Sure enough queerness to go around for everyone in this damn county. work now. Mm-hmm. I've been at this for an hour already. I'm tired. Don't you be complaining, none, girl. I don't boys gonna hear you. So what? You want him to go running back to the colonel. You're not even around and blow a snort. <laughs> Shh. That don't matter. Don't you know he got spies up in this here field? I'd give anything to be done with this. Shut your mouth now, unless you want the whip. Considering all this picking, I'll be welcome break. Ow! See, you done done it now. Is it bad? Pretty deep. Mm. Don't you get run in your mouth? Cuts like this swell up my like pickle and fall off. Oh, mama, don't scare me like that. You go light a candle and you pitch your finger under the flame. Go ahead. Don't you worry about it, no. Go ahead now. I'll show you do what I tell you to do. All right, stop flapping your lips now. Chatty be back. Just taking care of a cut, that's all. Snoopy, no good cotton pickers. Sir. Real bad, sir. Make it quick, yeah? Thank you, sir.
concentrate on the case more and for sure. Boy, I don't drop dead a rapture now. Welcome back, son. Am I gonna have to liquidate? Liquidate. Yes, liquidate. Is that the message I sent y'all? Just when I thought you inherited my good sense, your mama proves me wrong. I was just quoting what you wrote me, boy. I'm gonna take you for the task. You better show his hide here now. Now go fetch his drunken self. Buford isn't here, sir. Where is he then? Out spending more of my notes on whores and moonshine? I don't know how to say this without sounding like a hysteric. Spit it out, boy, while some of my youth is intact. If it's taken to seeing bogeys. You hit by the brazier strap, too? I know how daft it must sound. Daft? What the hell is daft? Senseless, stupidly. Yet, in spite of how untoward such an activity may seem, it is not entirely unfounded. Y'all talk like that in the courthouse, boy? Yes. Maybe mothballs in the mouth talk wins court cases, boy, but it rankles my nose hairs. And I don't scratch no holes. Bogus. Damn it, I knew that creek bitch of mine haunt me to old age. Get in here, boy. And leave your tangled tongue back at the courthouse or the outhouse or wherever the hell it is. Yes, sir. As I was saying, sir, Buford's behavior is not that irrational. There have been some very queer happenings as of late. You sound like M. Vickers, Negroes. You all heard those stories? Couldn't ride down Main Street without hearing about it six or seven times. There's a plague sweeping this here county, Clayton. And it's got a Yankee face. Sir, you aren't suggesting the Yankees are responsible for these phenomena. Ain't nothing they wouldn't do to keep all us eleven from secession. Surely you aren't suggesting the conjuring ghosts. Ghosts. Them Yankees think we're all simple yokels. What better way to weaken our resolve than to take advantage of our superstition? Then what methods are they using? Boy, if I knew that, these queer happenings would be a thing of the past already. Sir. I heard cavalrymen outside this house, but they weren't there. Now, no one can tell me a man is able to manufacture sound out of thin air. Clayton, stop your raving at once. Don't you forget who you're talking to. My apologies, sir. I didn't ride no hundred miles to entertain half-baked ghost stories. I came to talk production, boy, and damn it, that's just what we're going to do. Yes, sir. I've been trying to balance the books, but with the production being down on Buford's record spending, it's been a colossal task. Ain't never gonna forgive that Yankee from taking my son away from me. It's the other way around. Buford can't take matters into his own hands. Don't you give me crap. Buford's your blood. Sir, even the law supersedes blood or else chaos rules supreme. Don't matter none. Facts are fact. Once upon a time, Buford was beyond reproach. That was once upon a time. Who's that coming up the road? I thought you were going to Lynchburg, Stella. No, I've, I've had second thoughts. Well, isn't that why you shared the carriage with me? You have family in Lynchburg, Miss Burnham? No, just some pharmacy student. Took a shine to me at college. You still haven't told me who he is. I said you don't know him. Trust me. Daddy! Cecile, girl. Hello. 
was grown sick with worry, Cecile. You knew she was coming and you didn't tell me? What happened to your head, girl? I'll tell you all about it later. But first, let me introduce you to Stella Burnham. Miss Burnham, this is a pleasure. What brings you out all way? Well, hopefully I'll get acquainted with Yakov County, if y'all don't mind. And, and who about this gentleman, Dean? Uh, this is Walter Snopes, my hero. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. You're a Yankee. Pick it up if I'm going to make it home by sundown. <laughs> Damn. What the hell is that? Looks like somebody's making a fire or something. Well, whoever it is, probably up to no good. I'd better go check it out. I know you boys is in there. I give you a count of ten. One, two, three. Lord have mercy. Charity, is that you? Answer me, girl. What you be doing in there? Well, if it isn't Buford Mosby, scourge of vulnerable, impressionable women and resident pestilence of Yakov County. Girl, where'd you learn to talk like that? That's right. Negro women aren't supposed to have minds of our own. Oh, I'm sorry, Master Buford, but I won't let it happen no more, sir. Who you think you're talking to? Sounds like a man always trying to destroy what he don't understand. Girl, don't make me... Make you do what? Kill me? What in the hell's gotten into you? Oh, you can't even begin to imagine. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll be on my way. I think you'll stay right here. You like the chew on flesh, do you? Uh, Charity, stuck up! Now you have all the time in the world to get your share.
This program was made possible with the cooperation of New Jersey State Parks. Come visit Historical Wanford Historical Park at Crosswicks Creek Park in Upper Freehold, New Jersey. And also visit Allaire State Park in Farmingdale, New Jersey.